guys, it's Fluncy Stables here, and today is going to be a really interesting video. I'm going to be doing five model horses I regret buying. So I buy every single horse no matter what because I like to have a big collection. I like to add on to it, but these guys I just regret buying. I mean, why waste your money on something that's that weird? Um, I'll start off in fifth place, which won't be that bad. Fourth place is not horrible. Third place is getting a little worse. Second place is pretty hideous. And first place is just close your eyes, people, because they have some major flaws. And sorry if you hear that, that's my dog barking. But if you don't hear it, good. Anyways, um, so coming in fifth place, first for not the ugliest. Um, Mustang, oh dear. Okay, there you go. The little Mustang phone, you might think, oh, he's innocent. Well, first off, his gait is really weird. It looks like he's doing a trot, but he's like splayed out. I don't understand it. He's really stretched out. Um, then he has this weird facial marking that I do not understand. He's got those laid back ears, those eyes that are like closed. I don't know. He's just a weird overall kind of creature. Maybe he'll grow out of his awkwardness. Um, just the pose that he's in is kind of weird, and I wish Slash would have done an actual pose that resembles an actual gait, because I don't know what this is. Unless it's a gated breed, then that's confusing. Even more confusing. Number four down on the list. This is the Slash Shetland Mirror 2014. She's not horrible, okay? But the heart is not helping. This is... A weird little heart on her bum. I don't understand it. Were they trying to be sweet or something? Was it supposed to be a branding? I am so confused. But I guess I'll just have to deal with it. If they took that off, she would be a beautiful little Shetland. Although her head is really, really small and her back legs are really, really fat. But she wouldn't be that bad at all and I would use her in a lot more videos. Um, but she does have that thing on her bum that kind of annoys me. And that's why she's on this list. Because I don't know what Slash was thinking when they were sculpting her. Anyways, number three. Um, my friend said I look like her. I thought that was kind of rude because her confirmation flaws. But they don't know what confirmation is. Let alone what flaws there are. So I let them off the hook this time. I was totally fine with them. I was like, oh, thank you. If you look at the mare without her confirmation flaw, she's a beautiful mare. First off, though, if you try to put a bridle on her, bridles rarely ever fit on this mare. She has a very bulky head with that bang forelock in front of her. It's so big. I mean, if you look at the comparison size to a normal forelock, that doesn't work. She has, like, more hair in her forelock than she does her actual mane. You know what I mean? Anyways, mini rant there. She has this weird thing going on with her back. Her girth is like sideways so she has a really teeny tiny girth and her belly's like sagging behind it it's really weird and then her legs are just funky i don't understand them they're kind of like splayed out so yeah she's an interesting mayor she would be beautiful without her confirmation flaws but because of her confirmation oh look at this guys she has even more bang behind her that's a lot of bang okay sorry yeah, she just has those bad confirmation flaws that just aren't working it for me, and she's just proportionally out of whack. Coming in second place. And you guys may already have thought that I'd put this mirror in here, and I'm like, yes, I had to put her in here. Um, when she arrived, I did the exclusive instead of the original, because the exclusive is even worse than the original. When she arrived, she had a sandpaper feeling. Yes, she literally felt like sandpaper. I mean, it was ridiculous. Then... She had no shading whatsoever on her thing. You can see that it doesn't blend in. If my camera could possibly focus. It doesn't blend in. It's a weird shape. I don't understand it. Then you look at her legs. And they're like, those are short stubby legs. They're short stubby legs with like literally no um, coronary band or anything like that. It's ridiculous. It's so short. Um, what is that name called? Fetlocks? I don't know. They all sound the same after a while. I'm not a cannon bone. I didn't have that. But still, if you know what I mean, please comment down below what it is. Because, like, 
the little thing right here. It's so short. It's ridiculous. Um, it's, she's just a weird Adawa character. She may have been first if it weren't for me getting this guy over here on my side. Um, but, yeah, she's not, she's not good and her husband ain't that much better. So, alright, another mini rant there. And last but not least, oh dear, I'm knocking everything over. I am literally knocking everything over in my path. All my horses are knocked over. Okay. And my cavaletti. So joy. Anyways, you may by now realize that this horse is a little weird. He's got long spindly legs. His mane is so big. It's ridiculous. His head. Okay, his head is so big. So big, guys. It's so big. I have to get a side angle of that. That's a big head. If you compare that to the head of our worker, yeah, he's too big. That is a problem that Slash has recently been having with their horses. The right proportion sizes, they really need to spend more time to make sure that they're like lifelike horses. Because if they do that, then we would be so much happier. I do like his traditional draft braiding though. That is one thing I appreciate from Slash that they did that. But those legs, that neck, that head is so big. Not to mention his back. He has like no barrel, not the thickest barrel at all. He should get a really thick barrel. And it just doesn't fit. I mean, it's kind of sad. It. I don't know what Slash was thinking at this point. Maybe they saw it looking like a horse. I, am, I went to the STS forum and one of the people said there that it resembles more of a traditional Shire, um, I mean Clydesdale, with the longer spindly legs, and I do agree with that, so she maybe was looking at those pictures, but that is no excuse for the oversized head, the small barrel, and the long giraffe neck. Um, <laughs> so do not buy this guy if you want a weird horse, unless you're going to put him on a shelf for the rest of your life and not look at his confirmation flaws. He's not the world's best buy, but he is beautiful outside the confirmation. I want to give you a little bit of credit. Get. I, I always feel bad if I'm like roasting my slice. I want to give them a compliment so badly because I feel bad for them. If anyone else does that, please comment down below. Anyways, that was the last of the horses. And as you can see, Slash has some proportional issues with some of the horses or just technical flaws that were pretty simple to fix. But that is just a few of them. There are a few others that have small things, but I wouldn't put those on the list. Um, and overall, I think Slash has actually kept their bearings really well for having like over 300 horses. Well, 250 around. Um, having over 250 horses and most of them not having those weird flaws. But lately, their work has been a little bit of sloppy, a little bit sloppy, and if you agree with me, please comment down below as well. So guys, that was all for my video today. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Um, if I'm the only one who has been say saying subscribing, I read it closer and it's subscribing. I wasn't mad, but I'm still going to say subscribing because I like that better. Anyways, um... Just remember to check out my page if you're new to my channel and check out my channel trailer and the rest of my videos. So yeah guys, bye!